what's going on youtube welcome back to another video on this channel and in this video we're going to be going through one of my shopify stores and revamping the whole website from the product logo to the domain name and the structure of the website and before we get into this guys go ahead and hit the like button for the youtube algorithm and without further ado let's get into the video here we are in the store and we're just going to show you guys a quick overview of what the store looks like right now and yes we do got quite a pro quite a bit of products on this store um, I even did this in uh, Canva here um, I didn't really think it was that great but anyway it was just a quick I mean I did it pretty quickly so first things first guys we're gonna have to go ahead and I'm actually gonna be using Daybeautify also I'm gonna be switching the theme out with Daybeautify so I've already downloaded Daybeautify if you guys don't know how to download it I have a video of that too but uh, you can just go to daybeautify.com and you'll have to just put in your name, your email, and then it will ask you what your log, uh, kind of like what your login is when you're logging into Shopify, like your store name dot my .com. Anyway, after that, well, this is a sign up form, but you got all the plans here. You got the free plan, which is pretty good. And you can always upgrade and up all these uh guru hustler starter free i heard hustler is really good obviously it's the way debutify is so i'm gonna try it as a general store and as i rebrand it so i just have to this stuff's probably gonna pop up so let's just publish it i never got down to fixing all of this but we still have our products in here so that's awesome Okay, so now we're just going to go to and make a lo Actually, I'm going to go to the domain real quick and show you guys how you switch the domain. So you're going to go to online store. And you're going to go to domains. And I should have one that I bought in here that I want to use, which is Hyro Shop. I thought it was a kind of a cool name for a like a general store. Like if you're not familiar with uh, Hygo Shop, Hygo Shop actually uses Daybeautify also and it sounds pretty pretty cool and they do really well so I'm just going to change the primary domain from Steve's Monkey to Hyro Shop okay so that's done let's see I just wanted to look and see yeah let's, let's do the one without WW because <clears throat> I think if you do that one then they will it it'll only go to your website if they put in ww so you don't want to do that so let's uh it's connected i have all those other domains that i need to unconnect but we're not going to do that right now so we got that you can always change this name up here i'm not really going to do that because i just see that on the back end if you look up to the left corner up here um so let's just start uh customizing the theme we're going to go ahead and go create a logo in Canva um, for this shop, Hyro Shop. So here we are in Canva. You're probably going to want a, I mean, you can pick logo, which is 500 by 500 pixels. Go ahead and we got Hyro Shop. So I'm going to go with, let's see. I, Now we're gonna make another one. So kind of to make the lettering go good with each other, you just you can always put like the back end shop. That way it looks good. I'm just gonna go ahead and create the logo and then we'll get back to you when we're done with the logo it's probably gonna take me about five minutes but we'll get back to you on the logo
All right, guys, so here we are back in the Shopify store, and we're gonna go ahead and upload the logo that we got from our, let's see. Hope that was our Fabicon, sorry guys. We went ahead and also made a Fabicon for our shop. Uh, our, our logo in, we are gonna go ahead and go back out changing the uh, banner uh, so you can go and get copyright free images at unsplash or you can go to pixel bay I'm just gonna go to unsplash and we can pick something that looks good for our banner let's just search um, products maybe or like even like a gift shop uh you know what i'm just gonna put like a something like gifts uh let's just go to canva too to see what we can find because i actually like canva let's type in website and then get a blank one they have all these templates you guys can use but I mean, if that's up to you, if you want to use that, I usually just go with like a photo. So let's type in gifts. You could do something like this one. This one's pretty cool. See, I like I like what Canva has more, and you can just do so much with Canva. go that looks pretty awesome should look good on mobile and desktop so now we're gonna go ahead and change the colors on the website and make it look congruent so let's see what kind of colors do we want and we don't want that for the checkout change the checkout Okay, so now we're gonna go to advanced settings and we can change see if we want to change our shipping we'll just leave the free worldwide shipping today only just leave that for now so let's go ahead and change the favicon Fabicon here. Go to colors. And then our colors we're gonna want. I'm not sure exactly what colors I want. Like I feel like I should just leave it black and white. I might make the buttons green because I know that helps convert. And it's not a big deal, so I'll just leave the buy button screen and then we'll change the other buttons to this um, actually we'll probably just do black since the buy buttons are green I'm not going to put too many colors tag we can do black I'm not gonna go too crazy on these colors so I want to keep it pretty simple. Change this logo down here. Which we should probably make a white one. Let's go ahead and pick this one. Hyro shop in white that's pretty cool we can make it bigger 
I believe. Okay. Now we can save that. And we can, we're gonna change this text around. Resist. Okay, and I already set these up on the Debutify theme um, to where, actually, you know what we could do? On this one, I wanna change that. So, that's not in the footer. That is its own block over here. So it's a guarantee. And then we can put on the last one, let's see, we could put 90, just reset, 97% satisfaction. Because I think that sounds good. And we could save that. And we'll leave the rest as is. I might have to make more collections and edit my collections, but we can see where we're at. Well, select collection, home page. Actually, let's put popular this week up here. And there we got it here now. Do do, and then we can save that. Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and actually start finishing up. Make sure you guys change the privacy policy, the refund policy, and just go in and change the names, uh, the websites that you entered uh, from the from the original templates that you had. Uh, in the settings so that and I changed my favicon the, I mean everything the domain it's all here um, and it also in my next video I'm gonna be running this product testing it I've been seeing it a lot let me know in the comments if you guys have uh, revamped the website or just you know changed the product and changed the logo and the domain name or do you just go out and re recreate a, uh, another Shopify store? All right, guys, that's it. I hope you're getting value from this video. Let me know what you guys do or what you hear is best. I'm just showing you what I did in this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.